Hey guys, in this video, just a quick announcement. Blackmagic has a new app for the iPhone. It's called the Blackmagic Camera app, which is free. So everybody can download it and you can just use it. That's it for this video. Thanks again. See you tomorrow. No. Okay, some couple of words. This is an app where you can do all of the different settings of a professional camera. So if you have the app open here, here on top, you will see I can change even the white balance. Usually it's automatic. I can disable automatic and change whatever setting I want. When do you use something like that? Let's say you are on a production or you shoot for a client and you have a specific ad that you want to create and you use different types of cameras. My problem in the past was when I used my camera, my Canon, for example, and my GoPro and my iPhone, you could tell in the editing which camera was which because they didn't even have the same white balance. Now you can do this and say, okay, for that one shoot, for that movie, I go with the white balance of 5,350 Kelvin. Perfectly. Now all cameras have the same value because I can do this with my Canon as well. And then on editing, when you put this into your DaVinci Resolve, for example, it will match. And for everyone who wants to just shoot professionally and want to control all of the settings, like for example, the shutter speed, because usually when we, for example, have 24 frames, I would use a 150 shutter speed and I can do this now very slightly you see here 148 150 bam but there's a lot in this app what you can do by the way did you see here I have the app even open on my iPad so you can download it on the iPad as well and it works but it's not a proper iPad app it's basically just an iPhone app that you can make big but it works what I noticed with the iPad app though is it's a little bit slower than the normal camera app so and this also brings me to one of the big points because people were asking me what I think about this so first of all it's free Every filmmaker should just download that because it will open up as a tool, you know? I see all cameras and everything we have as a tool. If you are in the situation, you want to change the white balance even from your iPhone, now you can do or the shutter or whatever, right? But here's my sense. First of all, most of the people who watch this channel are beginners. And even myself, sometimes I just shoot something because it's important to get the information done. And so the iPhone camera is very good for just capturing like day brightness or even in low light situations, it works. And so for most people, they don't even need all of the settings. I even have a warning because if you are not familiar with the settings, you can actually make your footage look worse than just having the automatic stuff. So what do I mean by that? Of course, if you want to learn, you should learn and figure out how all of those settings, like the aperture, the shutter, the frames, the ISO work together. And then this can become your craft, right? So in that case, you should play around with this. And now you can even play around on an iPhone. That's cool. Oh, yeah. And then the second thing I have is what I couldn't test yet is it's not the first time we have an app on the iPhone that lets us control all of the settings. For example, I had an app from Sion in the past, the Gimbal Maker. They had their own app as well. That was good, but I, I ended up never really using their app because their app was draining my battery faster than the camera inbuilt. And when I shoot either for a production or if I go on travels myself, then the most important if I shoot with my iPhone is that my battery holds because if my battery is dying and you know that if you shoot slow motion, whatever, then you have the problem that your battery is draining faster. So I can't have it that an app drains my battery even 20, 30% faster. So this is my big I'm not saying that this will happen with the Blackmagic app, but because there's so much into it, you can even load LUTs and stuff like that. It will probably drain faster. How much faster? You should make a field test. But this was one of the big problems I had in the past. And then I just put went to the standard app because it was just reliable, fast, and I got the shot that I wanted. Because sometimes even filmmaking, if you have time, you make a shot, you prepare everything, then perfect then you can use a Blackmagic app. But sometimes you just have to shoot something fast because you have a second. Oh, I have to take the camera and out. And, and then for those cases, the normal camera app will be the best. So am I ranting about this app? No, not at all. It's cool that we have it. It's, a, it's on our tool disposal. We can use it in the future. So think about it when and why you're using it. And if you have a certain reason why these settings are important for you, now you can have an app on your iPhone. That's it for this video today. Let me know what you think about this app. Maybe you already played around with this app. Let me know here in the comments. See you in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.